Let's take this rock and turn it into an adorable little carrot with a peekaboo heart that is perfect for kicking off spring. I know it's hard to see me lining up this design because the rock is so light itself, but it's on there with my new soapstone pencil. And now I'm gonna take some Liquitex gesso and just give a nice base coat to the design and kind of leave that peekaboo heart in the center poking through. This design is kind of inspired by a combination of things. So cookies on Pinterest and clip art on Pinterest. So kind of a melding in my own mind of a couple of things that I saw on Pinterest. And just wait till the end. I think you're gonna like how cute this is. Now that all the gesso is filled in and you can see the shape of the design better, we're gonna get some color on it. So I wanted it to be kind of pastel and kind of bright. So I'm gonna use these two colors, the lime sherbet and the apricot. And this keeps it light, like pastel and spring go together, but I also wanted it to be bright. So I think these two colors are the perfect combination for the carrot and the little green stem that goes on it. I'm gonna get the first layer of both colors on here first to start out. And one of the challenges with the apple barrel paint and some of these lighter colors is that it doesn't get the nice solid coverage that you want right off the bat, even with the gesso. So first coat first, and then I'm gonna come back through and give a nice second coat of both colors so that it's nice and bright and vibrant. And I have to be really honest, this was not on my list of March designs until I couldn't get it out of my head because I thought it was so cute after I kind of had it brewing of combining this cookie design I saw and this clip art that I saw and it just kept invading my headspace. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I need to add this into the mix. So this is off kilter from what I had planned to do, but I thought it was just so cute and so much fun. So sometimes those are where the best ideas come from. They surprise you out of nowhere. Okay, now that we've got the color on here and it's nice and bright and beautiful, we're gonna add some character with some white dots. So this is just simple nail dotting tool, white paint, and I put them on there kind of like you would see on a dice. So one line and then the next line is off center from that one. And then the design just kind of kept taking a mind of its own and I kept adding things. So I'm taking a Posca PC1MR paint pen in white and I'm gonna outline the whole design. I decided white would kind of go in line with this softer spring-like um, theme rather than black that's a little more stark and harsh. So I stuck with the white, just gave it a little bit of definition around the edges so it'll stand out and pop once the resin's on there. that was supposed to be it. I was gonna stop at this and it was just gonna have the white outline and be super cute. And then I looked at it and I went, mm, I think we could add some sparkle to this. So I got out my Folk Art Extreme Hologram Glitter Paint and my very tiniest nail dotting tool and decided to add some slight sparkle to the white outlines on the design. And it added just the perfect amount of sun catching sparkle to this design. What do you think? Are you gonna make one? If you do, pair it with this little bunny I have on the screen for you. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch and I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.